many things, but I enjoyed more coaching the young ones. It got to a stage in my career where it was more enjoyable and you got more self-satisfaction of managing and training the up-and-coming kids and actually playing. Because you punish your body to a certain stage and, and it gets more enjoyable. But I mean, what people like you, Lee, and, Joe, and, and, and Roy do uh, within the fact that we're a small nation of com combining work and training to still compete uh, because we spoke it yesterday. We look at the GFA games and on average, uh, it's always the same three who are still there uh, at the highest level. Okay, we've, we've had um, performances from, from TJ, from Jack Sargent, from Jace uh, in, in some games which are worthy. But if you look at consistency over the games, it's always you three, you three guys at, at the highest level. And, and that's, you have to take your hat off because at your age and, and punishing your bodies and not having, uh, you've got a career, a job to do during the day and you still push yourselves to the limits. Uh, yeah. And I don't think a lot of people in Gibraltar can understand or see uh, what you guys have achieved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to narrow it down to one word. Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. That's what it is. Because it's yeah. like Lee said, it's like Lee said, if we were not to be paid, we would still do it. We would still do it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Nothing absolutely. We would still do it. So yeah. that's, that's now... I would start a debate, but I'm not going to start it, so I'm just going to leave it no, there. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I think I know where that one's going, but... I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that one off camera. <laughs> just one, the just one interesting point. I mean, he missed out Liam Walker there as one of our uh, standout performers over the last couple of years because there was that free kick that he scored, which was a winner. But um, did, did you ever... Yeah. Did you ever did you ever play in the same team, Joseph? Uh, in, because he played in Sabal, didn't he? He grew up in Sabal. Did you ever play in the same team in Spain as Liam? We we were we, when I actually started in Sabal, he was uh, training with La Balona. Um and I played three games, three or four games with Sabal, and then I was called to La Balona and I started training with him. Um, then I started playing in La Balona and he. Never played. He never had the chance to play. Um, so he left to Ajesi. That's where he did start playing there. And then he he went to to to, to so San Roque, which I actually played a year there with Liam. Uh, so, but I never I never actually got to play with him in La Valona because he was never he was he was never selected for the for the matches. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we were talking about, um, we were talking about yesterday, obviously, you, you three stand out because you're all from more or less the same era. But um, we've, all, we've also got, uh, when we were talking about pathways, and I, I mentioned it in the group uh, uh, earlier, um, both, both Anthony and, and Pichu Hernandez uh, both, both started in Cadiz, didn't they? Or they didn't start in Cadiz, they went to Cadiz, came back. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, Anthony did a year with Sevilla. Um, which was even further away. I think it was this year he was doing his GCSEs. His last year. Yeah. His last year, right? yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, that, that's where... Well, we've still I'm, got players going away. Um, we just need probably more. We do. We do. And they should get the chance. But it's, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's up to them. It's up to them whether they, they want to they wanna sell themselves as well because... You're going to give me that one word again, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm just going to say that, um, I mean, I play for Lincoln. Uh, uh, um, and the amount of emails Lincoln gets on a daily basis from players selling themselves yeah. is not normal. So, I mean, whoever, whoever nowadays, that's the thing. That's the easy, the easy, the, or, 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 that's what we didn't have before. Nowadays, you can just do a video, upload it, and send it to any team that you want to. You know what I mean? Do good, a good clip, show it to, 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 to teams, and, and, and 
you can get your trial. You, you can get your trial. But it's it's a desire, it's a want, it's 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 everything that it, that comes after it. Do you really want it? Yeah. That's a question that you have to ask yourself. Do you really want it? Are you re are you really willing willing to go that to extra pay the mile? Price. And to pay the price. It's it's everything. I mean, well, we talked I about think. it yesterday. It's also a difficult point because it comes at the t same time as you you have to concentrate on your education. And Very difficult. There's a lot of kids that will, especially if they're academically bright, they're, they're just going to look and they're going to go, Oof, well, that's a big ask to sacrifice my education uh, yeah. for football. But I, I understand where you're coming from. It comes down to passion. When 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 it actually was in UK. Um, Nowadays, for example, you can talk to your your teacher via WhatsApp, uh, via email. They can send you the work that you have to do, and so on. When I was in UK, my mum used to mail me, mail me the the work that I had to do for that week or for that month, if I was going to be there for a month. So that's that's. I I mean I kind of tutored myself. Yeah. In a way, um, so and when I came back, because when I came back to Jib, obviously I was maybe three weeks that I've, I'd, I'd been out. So that was three subjects that I'd, I had lost, or I was uh, behind from my other from my other uh, classmates. So, um, but I did it. I mean, I passed my GCSEs, I passed my A levels. Right. Um, so at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's what 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 are you willing to do? What are you willing to give, or what are you willing to do? To get there, that's 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 my question always to each and every individual that comes up to me and says, uh, "Joseph, what do you think about?" And I and I'll tell them, I I'll, I'll go straight through everything and what I think, and then I'll just lay there and say, "Are you willing to do this, Joseph?" It would be brilliant. It would be brilliant for the GFA to send you guys to Bayside and give some motivational speeches because. Um, it, what what we're talking now is really what is the nuts and bolts of what these kids need to know, but they need to know firsthand. Of course, I mean that's it's why like I said at the beginning, it's it's invaluable what what Joseph can teach them from his experience um, over a thirty minutes chat. It's invaluable. It's invaluable. Uh, Lee too. I mean Joseph, Joseph's ex. Uh, what Joseph can show them, it's obviously at a higher level because he's, he's uh, been abroad and spent time abroad and seen the pitfalls. But it's a combination. Just get the three of them in front. Um, what Roy was doing at the age of 15, going on his own to get the bus, then coming back, that shows um, the passion and the desire. Then Joseph leaving, like he's just mentioned, carrying on, doing his his GCSEs by email and all the rest that shows a burning desire to have a safety valve beside in case it doesn't make it because it's it's very important it's what we discussed yesterday Neil in terms of why at the age of 16 in my view we need to carry on um, because we cannot cannot leave the education system to one side because Absolutely. very very few of them make it and we cannot allow kids to just dump their oh, nowadays both have to be both have to be put together yeah it has to be mm -hmm. nowadays nowadays there are players who are who are footballers but they also have the they have their their their, their, their studies to to a side i mean how many players have finished playing football and have become lawyers or have become uh i mean businessmen you know what i mean so it's it's good to have both I mean, if you can have both why not people say no i don't have time nowadays this is this is i'm talking about now eh? i'm talking about now and I'm, I'm going to talk about lincoln for example you've got the young players who say we, we train what three two hours maybe three max a day and they come and say no, because I'm, I'm my GCCs. You know what I mean? I understand. Yeah, your GCCs are very important, which I understand. That I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say on the contrary. But it's three hours that you're gonna be training. Yeah. You've got 24 hours a day 
Okay, eight hours you're gonna be sleeping. You still have 16, 16 hours. You know what I mean? So it's gonna take three hours. You still have fifteen hours to to study. And 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 and, and it's like I say, use football like I used to use it, or like I use it to release everything. You know what I mean? If, if to release that, I mean, you're studying, but oh, you've got this stress. I use it to to let go of everything. That's that's when I feel free. That's 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 my my time alone. So, I mean, that's 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 what I tell the younger the younger kids. But at the end of the day, if, if they it's like I said, uh, Neil, Mick, Kenneth, if if they want it, they'll yeah. find the time. Yeah, there's no free lunch in life. Absolutely not. Again, so, it's like going back to becoming a lawyer or doctor. It's not easy. Being a doctor to save lives, it's it's uh, it's a long, long um, pathway. But if there's a passion and a commitment to save lives, he'll do it or she will do it. But football is the same. It's, it's, I've, I've used the words many times. It's not rocket science. But if yeah. I mean, uh, when 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 the kids were uh, ever asked me to sort uh, whether whether the what what should come first, I always used to say, well, your studies have to come first. But it's like Joseph says that it doesn't mean to say that you can't you can't play football or you can't train. Um, there's there's usually it's it's putting the this obviously their parents are, are worried about their studies because. That is the the priority, of course. Um, but if they if they're strong enough, if they if they're dedicated enough, if they have that passion, then they they will find ways of of doing their homeworks, of doing their homework, doing their schoolwork, and also having time to turn up to to do their to do their training and to take part, you know, to participate with the team and all the other boys in the team. Were obviously in the, exactly the same boat, but you know, you only had one or two or three of them coming up saying, "Oh, I can't train tonight because I've got um, because I've got homework to do." So you, you had to deal with those boys, but um, you know, the other guys were were coping with it or were handling it uh, somehow. So so it's just a question of of giving them giving them the options that are already there, really. I, I totally agree. I mean, I, I've, I, as a father of three, I've always looked at three, all three of them, and, and if they've given that me that excuse, I've said no. Get on with it. <laughs> I, 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 I think they easily they can do both. So uh, it's whether they've got the desire to do both. That, that, Especially in the gym, Neil, where where you, or just across the border, if you're training across the border, where it's it's ten minutes to go to training and it's ten minutes to get back from training. And you're back. You can be at back at the desk that you use for your homework. You know, literally after 10, 15 minutes after the training is finished, and you're only 10 or 15 minutes away from st the start of training. So it's not like you're in, you know, not like Roy who had to had to jump in his dad's van and travel from Enfield to Luton an hour up the up the motorway to to attend training sessions. You know, that that's that's a challenge. Um, yeah. And Joseph, who who was you know, having to fend for himself and, you know, days before the online, online teaching and online uh, courses and WhatsApp and, com you know, online communications with your teachers and, uh, and your tutors. So, you know, these days, ev everything is possible and you don't want to stress kids out. But, you know, the reality is that if they want it badly enough, they can, everything can be fitted in, everything. I, I used I used it to finish off my jib talks, which will be aired later on in the year, and and I still have it stuck in my head, uh, something along the lines of that I was told I shouldn't and I was told I wouldn't. That's why I did, and that's what we need to ingrain to the kids, because I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of them they're not encouraged at in the system to pursue uh, and to be able to combine them both. I agree entirely with what, what Mick and Joseph have said. Well, Joseph is living proof that he was able to do it. Okay, he wasn't able to do the, 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 the actual degree uh, because he went ahead and pursued a, a very, very uh, probable um, lead in that respect. Uh, but he, he managed to complete the, the GCSEs and the A-levels 
whilst at the same time uh, spending time abroad. So, well, he went to Cambridge, but, but to play football instead of going to the university. So, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you missed that bit out, actually. Uh, <laughs> Guys, it's been fantastic talking to you as usual. I'd like to point out one thing. Um, I think this is this is great, um, and I hope, I really do hope that whoever uh, sees this and, and and actually hears what, we, what we've been talking about is an eye opener for them. You know what I mean? So it's just for them to 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 know and see what what it is that they can achieve and what it is. That if if they really want something, I mean, it's it's always there for them to to, to get it or to do it. Uh, so I just hope that what they've heard or what they hear from what we've spoken about and and and, and the issues we've actually been pointed out um, that it's an eye opener for them. So Joseph, yeah. Joseph, I I know everybody kind of knows you um, that you play and you're you're one of the top players, etc. But I don't think they know your backstory, you know. And so um, you you're talking about. What you've done and and what you know how how you're introduced to to sort of the realities of football and and your progression. I, I don't think a lot of people know a lot about you in that sense. Nor do they know a lot about Roy or Lee in the in that sense. You know, we 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 see you, but we don't really, and we think we know you, but we don't really know you. Do you know what, do you know what I mean? And and yeah. so I think I think this is going to be this is going to shed a little bit more light on. On, on the types of people you are. And you, I don't think you can underestimate how much uh, the kids who are watching you uh, look up to you and need, need that, um, that information, that extra information, if you like, to sort of also, they already respect you, but they respect you as a footballer. And now, you know, I think when, when they hear your story, I think they're gonna respect you more along the lines of, uh, you know, a person, somebody who's who's gone through, gone, you know, risen to the challenge and come through uh, winning uh, and is still winning. <laughs>